Hi there, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be demonstrating debugging in Zen Studio. Zen Studio enables you to maximize efficiency and accuracy in your projects by detecting and diagnosing errors in PHP code situated locally or on a remote server. Zen Studio allows you to control the execution of your program by setting breakpoints, suspending launch programs, stepping through your code, and examining the contents of variables. Debugging should be used at stages where your scripts and applications are formed sufficiently to be tried and tested. By default, Zen Studio uses the Zen Debugger. You can, if you like, use Xdebug. This necessitates some further configuration steps. Please refer to the online documentation for instructions. Our first step is to create a new PHP project. So, I'm going to go to the menu bar and select File, New, Local PHP Project. In the wizard that pops up, I'm going to first enter the name of the project. By default, PHP is already defined as the project's content, so I'm simply going to click Finish to create the project. Next, we're going to create a new PHP file in the project. So in the PHP Explorer, I'm going to right-click the newly created project and select New PHP File. Then, I'm going to name the new file Debugging and click Finish. The new file is created and displayed in the PHP Editor. Now, let's add some code to the file. All the code used in this video can be copied from the corresponding written tutorial in Zen Studio's online documentation. At the end of the file, I'm purposely adding an undefined variable because I'd like to see how the debugging process captures it. Now, by default, Zen Studio is configured to stop debugging at the first PHP line in the code. Our next step is to add an additional breakpoint to specify where in the code we want the debugging process to pause. So, I'm going to double click the vertical ruler to the left of line 37. The blue ball that now appears indicates that a breakpoint has been set. Great, we've got our code and we've got our breakpoint. Now, let's debug the file as a CLI application. In the PHP Explorer, I'm going to right click the file and select Debug as CLI application. The debugging process begins and Zen Studio moves from the PHP perspective to the debug perspective. A number of views are opened with information about our script and the debugging process stops where the first PHP label appears. Let's try and figure out what we're seeing here. The debug view is where the debug stack trace is displayed and the debugging process can be monitored and controlled. Clicking the resume icon in the toolbar continues the debugging which then stops at the breakpoint we set earlier. Clicking the Step Into icon takes us into the Display Workers function and advances us to line 52 in the file. The Variables view displays various information about the relevant variables and parameters through which the function was reached. The Debug Output view will display the HTML output created up until the breakpoint, while the Browser Output view will show the current output to the browser. Clicking the resume icon again, the debugging process continues and we can see that the debug output and browser output views are updated as the debugger goes through and runs the code. The console view displays any errors or warnings about the script. In our case, it's displaying a notice about an undefined variable on line 53. In the debug view, we can see that the debugging has terminated meaning that the debugging process for this file has finished. So I'm going to click on the PHP Perspective icon 
in the top right corner of the perspective to return to my normal editing mode. What we're now going to do is see how Zen Studio debugs files as a PHP application. To do this, I've added two new PHP files that handle a simple form with a post method giving me a name and age of a user. Since my entire project is already located in the htdocs folder of my local web server, there's no need for any additional deployment steps for these PHP files. I'm now going to right click the form file in the PHP Explorer and select debug as PHP web application. In the dialog that pops up, I'm going to make sure the URL is correct and click OK. And Zen Studio begins debugging again, this time on the web server. The code of the form file is displayed in the editor view. Resuming the debugging, the browser output view displays a form asking you to enter your name and age. The browser view tabbed here together with the editor view, is displaying the output of the script in a browser in real time. So I'm going to enter my name and age and click the submit button. The debugging process continues. Another editor opens with a script from the welcome file. Clicking resume, The browser output and browser views will display the final result of our application. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. For more information on debugging files and applications in Zen Studio, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.